We've got kids. You got kids? Hello, it is I, streamer. Coming at you live from the other side of the internet. Ready to pound, awaiting my players. In uh, 30 minutes. It was tabletop the whole time. And there's a lot of stuff on the other side of the internet. There's lots of stuff. Oh, I don't remember whether or not I permanently changed my mic volume or if I didn't save it again. I think I saved it. I've been sounding low to myself all week, but that would be a shame if things were bad again.
Hello. I sound fine. Well, it's it's if I sound fine compared to the other people when they show up and start talking and I'm 30 times louder than them. I can't hear anybody else. Yeah, I am think I'm overshadowing everybody who's talking right now. Life's just too hard. Let me make sure I got everything that I can close closed. I do. I'm still like trying to clear my throat. So hopefully talking for 30 minutes before people show up help. I got a warm glass of water. Ah, hasn't been helping. Usually it does. Why warm? To help clear my throat, which feels gooey. And it makes it hard to do voice acting for my internet role-playing game. So not really warm, more like hot water. Have some mint tea or something? Would you like to go to the store, purchase me some mint tea, come back, make it, and have it done in 30 minutes? Uh, ideally less, so I can, like, have it before it starts. Because I'll drink it. I promise you. I know I have that already? Oh. I do have... Whatchamacallit? Well, I can't remember what it's called. Matcha tea? But that's probably gone bad by now. I haven't really made one in... What it feels like a year. So that's probably bad. That probably goes bad. Maybe I could make that. Hmm. Just walk away from my computer? No idea that would help with crud or not? Well, I think, like, anything warm would probably help. That's my current thought process. <laughs> Comparable to sewer sludge? I'm not going to disagree. However, I kind of like it. I vomit and end up in live stream fails. That would be amazing for me. So maybe you can usually I had you can tell by looking at it. Once it starts to go bad, it starts turning like yellow brown. But I haven't opened the bags of it in a long time. I don't know. I don't really want to get up and go through the effort. I don't want to leave you guys. You guys need my attention. You're starved. You're deprived, even. Because when's the last time I streamed? When's the next time I'm going to stream? When are you going to see me again? How kids. am I doing? How is Banana? No one knows. Let's go over all the news from this week. Okay, done. You got kids. McPooned. Myriad time. Sarcy, thanks to everyone who subbed so far, who resubbed, who's joined the stream. I know I didn't read any of your names except the last two people, but they were special. You got kids? Clavant, too? That guy's special. I'm, am I even alive? I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm clawing back. I've been eating, like, nothing but frozen breaded chicken patties. So I'm kind of becoming a slug human. And I hate it. <laughs> and I hate it. So I'm clawing back. How's that Path of Exile going? I think if you don't stick with your first character, I'm kind of at the point like where I don't have the patience for it. Because it's cool to say, oh, what if I build this character and it'll be fun to make it? Then you need the amount of time, like let's say you have a level 99 character pre-leveled and let's just assume all of the passive points are done the way you like, which isn't true. Because you're going to want to mess around and try stuff. But even if getting the gear for every slot is just fucking annoying. And then to go into the map and try it and say, that's good or that's bad. And then I feel like I'm done after that. <laughs> I died twice in Solo Cell Found Hardcore. Both of them were to the same bullshit. 
and I don't want to play it anymore. Which was very, very, very slow, easily avoidable deaths where I assumed saving an exit would stop it. But like I'm like burn damage from half health slowly going down. I disconnected half health and my health just. Oh, you're dead now. You're now we're quitting. So I'm just sitting there like. I mean, I guess I shouldn't rely on quitting because apparently it doesn't work if you're going to die, except when it does, but never when you want it to. Which is all the time. <laughs> you need it to work all the time. I think like in both situations, if I just like leap slammed away and used the healing potion, I would have been fine. Actually, wait, no, I died three times. Yeah, three times to that. And just one time was even more bullshit layered on top of that. Guaranteed a death without intervention? Guaranteed from half health? Because of burn damage? I don't know, man. I don't know. I was playing a little bit of so uh, trade league, and I, I was doing like incinerate, incinerate hands. My glass looks futuristically cylindrical. I don't like these. I, it's like perfectly cylindrical. Thank you for noticing, by the way. Not many people do, but like, if they were wide. They could actually hold an amount of liquid that will satiate a human being. But they don't do that. These are like restaurant glasses where your waiter has to keep coming over every five minutes and say, Would you like some more water? Thanks for the tip. Look how attentive I am. But you're only attentive because my glass of water is insufficient. I'm on to you. But this is in my house. I have a... I'm trying to think of a word to describe these that isn't lame. Good laugh track. Uh, we'll just say some tablets you put in your water that add some flavor and some additional things. Um, <laughs> that sounds worse. <laughs> these glasses aren't big enough for it. If I put one in, then like the whole thing is chalky and gross. Sounds lame to me. Powdered juice. A product reveal? Hydration! Sport! So me and Ashley have like three glasses that can actually- that are actually- This is a long glass discussion. So we bought these cups to, to, because other cups weren't doing it for us. But these cups are even smaller than the cups they replaced. But I didn't know because I ordered them on the internet. Anyway. <laughs> Hate to ask dumb questions. Where can I watch old Myriad sessions? I wish that were a dumb question. But I still have not gotten around to uploading the VODs to a reasonable location. So for the time being, there is a playlist that the bot linked there. I'm also... keep having different ideas of how I'm going to do it. I want to get a few sessions into the future and see what even happens after this, this whole dungeon they're doing is done. So it might be better to just pick up a recap from after this. But I don't know. I mean, like, if they all die in here... <laughs> it's a possibility. I don't think they're all going to die. But if something like that happened... I don't know, that would change my VOD uploading plans.
I'm not sure how, but I know it would. I'm racing against the lock to make a pizza before D&D starts. That is a gamer vibe right there. Clock and thank you. Go for it. First TPK of Myriad. What I've learned from doing like test combats is that uh, like 5th edition and D&D in general has a relative predictability of how things are going to go. There's a lot of random shit in here that quickly... I think some of the fights that I've like simulated in my test chamber go over like, oh, it was really easy for the party to win that. And then you run the same fight and it's like, oh, one of them died. <laughs> okay. I think generally my test combats assume a level of stupidity from the players, though. Or not stupidity, but not planning out all the actions the way a talking, slow-running actual combat would go. Where I'm just like, do this, do this, do this, do this, do this, do this, because I need to, like, have it done. And they would optimize things a bit. Keeps the players on their toes. I mean, I'm fine with that. I'm happy with it. I'm just saying that the outcome of the combats that come up are so that's kind of the whole point because in fifth edition when a combat happens the outcome of them to me when i'm a player and the games i'm in is like it's it's easy for me to see the outcome before the outcome happens like oh the boss does this we do this it's probably over in like five rounds and we'll be we'll be fine and also because there's no permanent consequences for like going down so it's myriad isn't even um do we win do we not win it's like the the degrees of success of how many madnesses were gained that i would i think players consider it this way as well so i'm kind of thinking of it this way as well that if you gain a madness during a combat the combat feels like it was lost rather than won even though you've won it's like that's a that's a permanent problem so it doesn't feel like a win for that player for sure. The problem with testing combat is that you just attack the boss every turn. I don't. I usually skip turns from some players that are pretty roughly in line with what they would do. Um, <laughs> depending on who the player is and what their character does. Like, oh yeah, he'll probably do some fucking weird shit this turn, so let's just not do anything and we'll just skip. You got kids? I'm here for the stir. Stir's here. Hey, dildozer Fred. Welcome back. Less than a minute before D&D. &D. Well, you might have more time because shorefor has been joking that he's going to show up 15 minutes late. And shorefor um, there are few people in this world that would commit to that joke, and he is one of them. No, I don't suspect he will. He better not. Ashley had an after work meeting today that would have gone uh, 20 minutes past, so she would have been late. But she rescheduled her work's meeting, and they all respected her. And I was like, how did you get them to do that? Because I don't. And then she got mad. I don't know why. I don't get it. Making magic items for Dunda. Cool. I may have to do some of that today myself. gonna rename myriad literally dnd it doesn't stand for anything it's like do not disturb let's just go with that aha cooling time Cooling time is just you sitting here. You don't gotta do anything. K 
Kane Hurts also. Thanks for the Prime sub. Welcome. I also told Shore 4 in response to him saying he was going to show up late. And I was like, oh, well, I've been working on all this cool stuff for Kenneth, so I guess you'll just miss all that. And then he mentioned that again when he was streaming Overwatch like yesterday. And I told him I lied that I didn't prepare anything for Kenneth. So curious where his expectations will land and what he feels like was for Kenneth or not. Was it true? Was it not? I don't know. If Kenneth does something, then maybe it was true. It can cool when it's in your tummy. Owie. To be fair, you're doing great. I'm doing great. No, I don't want the game to be forgiving. It's like, I'm not... I'm not the mass for market consumption that D&D 5th Edition is. I'm the... I'm the one running from my friends who are all masochists. I don't know any non-masochists. So it's not even explicitly hard mode, but it's not like... Not forgiving is certainly the term. What was that? Pain mode. I don't know. Feels a little weird, actually, that uh, this is session nine. Session nine? And this is like the first dungeon? Du dungeon? Uh, hopefully, combat works. I tested it. Didn't really run into too many problems. The ones I did, I fixed. I'm sure a whole bunch of new ones will show up. And uh, crush me. I was telling Arcadum. Okay, I told Arcadum earlier this week that his Sapuku punch himself in the face ability, there is it is an impossibility within the code that it could lifesteal. We went over his build a little bit more again to make sure there was no more misunderstandings. And then I went through and fucking made it anyway, and it works now. However, I did get like an error while doing it once. Not replicatable. So I'm expecting it to happen this session. I test every combination possible of Hoshi abilities. No. He doesn't have very complicated ones, though. Lifesteal might actually be the most complicated mechanic within the, like, within the actual code. Uh, second place would be... Actually, first place would be on kill effects. Second place is like life steals wrapped up in that. So when Hoshi kills something, he gains life steal, and then he does AOE damage. So it's a fucking mess. He got kids. My stream might be dropping frames. That would be bad. Twitch has been pretty bad lately. I feel like I should start on a different Twitch server because I've. I've had like teasings of this happening multiple times recently, and I feel like it is deserving of a switch because it is lagging bad. And if we start, I got 15 minutes to like restart the stream and figure it out. Lately, I'm it's lately it has been worse. That's a real comment. show us how bad a tier 4 madness is? I was going to the other stream, you probably saw that, and then everyone talked about something else, but I was reading through them again. And I think the madness is because of how many reworks and readjustments there have been, that when someone gets a tier 4 madness, I need to, like, rephrase it and restructure it, so, like, I don't want to show any right now. More so, not for, like, a spoiler, but more of a, like, I need to actually make sure that they're correct. Which is why I removed, um... 
Ashley used to have a skill to gift madnesses to enemies, and I just took that out solely because then I would have to have 30 madnesses programmed and working and finalized. Which I do not, unfortunately. And yeah, my stream is getting worse and worse, so I'm, I'm just looking into how to change the, uh... I could, like, double-check that Ashley's not... She, like, changed our internet router situation up. This song has, like, a really low-pitched... Like, in the background that I... I sounds like her yelling to me. Got kids. Uh, okay, guys, I'm going to restart the stream. Thank you, Wazari. Wizar 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 uh, no, no, no. Thanks for stopping, whatever your name is, but like, I, the stream's over. I gotta restart, change the uh, Twitch server that I'm uploading to because. He would rather play the video games than be th with me sexually. Thank you for the five gifted subs, but I have to restart the stream. I'll be right back. You may have to refresh when it comes back. Fair warning. <laughs> 